through our bedroom ceiling onto our bunk bed got you well done tim okay leave the bowl up there and come down with me uh, ready come on tim one two three <laughs> there we go you too topsy lovely one, one two, two three way. thank you now can you two please help me take off these pillowcases okay. why is there a hole in our roof mummy well, Dad thinks the tile's come loose, so he's coming home to fix it. I'll help him. Oh, he'd like that. Where right. am I going to sleep tonight, Mummy? Up here, on the top bunk as usual, Topsy. Dad will fix the roof, and I will wash and dry your sheets. Oh, and little Moon Bunny, of course. Little Moon Bunny! <laughs> little Moon Bunny's my favourite cuddly toy of all, and now he's all wet. Can you help me dry Little Moon Bunny, please, Mummy? No, Topsy. I think we need to wash Little Moon Bunny. Why? Well, water that comes through the roof can be dirty. Please, will you help me put him in the washing machine? Yes, <laughs> you can have a nice ride. <laughs> Come on. After you. Good girl. So Little Moon Bunny's having his wash. Hello, little moon bunny. When the doorbell rings. Oh, Topsy, should we get the door? I'm staying here with little moon bunny. Hello, Joy. Is it Dad at the door? Come on in. No, no Tim, it's Kerry. <laughs> Come on. Hello, Tim. <laughs> Kerry's our best friend. She lives three houses away. Her mummy's dropping her off for a play date. Yay, Kerry! Come on up and see the rain that's coming in. Bye, lovely. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, Tim? I'm up here on the top bunk. Hi, Tim. Hi, Kerry. <gasps> wow, is that rain coming through your ceiling? Yeah, I'm catching the raindrops so Topsy's bunk bed doesn't get any wetter. Here comes another one. I'm ready for it. Got you. <laughs> Where's Topsy? She's downstairs. Little Moon Bunny is in the washing machine. He got rained on and now he's wet. OK, then I'll go and see her. OK. little moon bunny. He looks all funny. Yeah. <laughs> he smells nice and clean, Topsy, though. Yes, he really does. Come on, Kerry. Let's put little moon bunny on the windowsill to dry. Okay. Let's put him here, Kerry. Hello, gang! <laughs> what a lot of rain! <laughs> Hello. Where's this leak then? Hi, Dad. Come upstairs and I'll show you. Come in, Tim! Oh. dripping into this bowl. I put it there myself. Ah, well done, Tim. Now, let's have a look out here. Can you see it, Dad? Can you see the hole in our roof? 
I can't see anything. Why? Because I need to go high up to the roof from outside. We need a long ladder. But we haven't got a long ladder. No, but we know a man who does. <laughs> <laughs> dad friends, Kerry's dad, Carson. Carson is a fireman. He works at Hatcham Fire Station. Look, it's Carson and his long ladder. It's a really long ladder. Hi, Daddy. Hey, Kerry. The rain stops at last, everybody. Yeah! Carson? Yeah? We've got a hole in our roof and water's dripping through it. Little Moon Bunny got rained on in our bedroom. It's just as well I came round to help. Yeah! <laughs> Carson's long ladder reaches right up to the roof of our house. And now it's raining again. In there. Hello, Dad. <laughs> Keep an eye on those drips, Tim. Tell me if they stop, please. OK, Dad. Still dripping, Dad. OK. Good news. I can see the tile that slipped. Can you fix it? Can you fix it, Dad? I don't know. I'm just trying to reach it. Still dripping, Dad. OK. Just a minute. This is taking ages. Have you fixed it now, Dad? Yep. All done. Just slipped down a bit. I put it back into place with a nail. Oh, Dad! The drips are stopping! Oh, Hooray! Hey. We fixed it, Carson! Hooray! Did I hear a cheer? Yes, we fixed the roof, Mummy! Hey, well done, Tim! Thank you for all of your help. <laughs> How's this a moon bunny, Mummy? He's lovely and dry and cuddling with Topsy. <laughs> well done. By bedtime, little moon bunny in my bunk bed were dry and everything was back to normal. It's still raining outside. Oh, I know, what a day. But you and little moon bunny are warm and dry and cuddly. <laughs> <laughs> but then... Mummy, Daddy! Now there's rain coming through a bathroom ceiling! Oh, no! There must be another hole in our roof. I know what we all should do. We all need to move to a different house. What did you say, Topsy? Oh, nothing. And that's when Mummy said... Would, Would you, you like, like to move, move from this house to a, to a different house? house? Would you like to move from this house to a different house, Topsy? No. I didn't really mean this about a different house, Mummy. No, this is our house. Well, it's something to think about. I love our house. Good. So, let's have a proper look at this bathroom trip. <laughs> Come on. And that, said Dad, was that. Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> One of my cuddly toys was washed today. Can you remember which toy was washed? Was it a cuddly dog? Or was it a cuddly bunny? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a cuddly bunny, called Little Moon Bunny. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! We can play! <laughs> Hello, Dad!
Jerry! Oh. Hello, Jerry! It's you two again. Timsy and Top. <laughs> Timsy and Top, we're Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Silly me, how could I forget? Topsy and Tim. No, no, the other way round. Oh, the other way round? You mean Topsy and Tim, that way round? Do you mean? <laughs> no. That's not what you meant, was it? No. Now, I've been painting the ceiling. Can you see that? I've got it on me right Water now. was dripping through our bedroom ceiling from the roof. Dad fixed the roof, but DIY Derek is painting over where the leak was inside. Can we help, Derek? Please? Please? Of course you can. It's my home time, so you two can help me a tidy up. OK. OK, one of you hold my roller while I wipe my hands. Me, me, me! There you are then, Tim. You hold that. <laughs> right. Thanks, Tim. Now, I'll show you where to put it so we don't get a mess everywhere, OK? Our there. bedroom doesn't look like our bedroom today. Now then, what do you think, Topsy? Our bedroom looks funny, Derek. Ah, yes, it's cos I've covered it all in dust sheets so I don't get paint everywhere, you see? You see? Right, Tim, can you help me put the lid on the paint here? Right, push it down as hard as you can. There you go. Oh, that's good. Well done. Thank you. Right. Tim, under here. Where? In my den. <laughs> Done, Derek. Oh, hi, Joy. No, I'm afraid I'm going to have to come back in the morning and give the ceiling another coat of paint. Oh, so the twins can't sleep in here tonight, then? No. I'm going to have to leave it like this till the paint dries. If we go and sleep in our bedroom tonight, where are we going to sleep, Topsy? I don't know, Dad. Right, that's me. I'm done. Oh. See you tomorrow, Joy. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Derek. Mummy. Oh, hello. If we can't sleep in our bedroom tonight, where are we going to sleep? Well, we haven't got a spare room, so we're going to have to think about something else. But don't worry, I've got an idea. So have I. Oh. <laughs> we can sleep in Mummy and Dad's bed, Tim. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Hello, everyone. Bye, Bye Dad. Dad. I saw Derek on his way out. Did he tell you he hasn't finished painting the twins' bedroom? Yeah. Yeah, so we're sleeping in your bed tonight, Dad. <laughs> oh, no, you're not. Come out of there, please. Oh. Come on, you two. Oh. You are far too big to squeeze in with us. <laughs> you snore anyway. <gasps> like this. <laughs> you cheeky monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> but where are we going to sleep tonight, Dad? I know, I know. We can sleep here in the bathroom. <laughs> We're sleeping in the bath tonight, Mummy. <laughs> you can't see. No. No. <laughs> well, then you can't sleep in here tonight, can you? You need comfy beds for a good night's sleep. So tonight, we're having a special camping holiday. Where? Where? You'll find out. But first, who's for an early bath? <laughs> Dad tells us that our special camping holiday will be downstairs. Tonight, Topsy and I will sleep on the living room floor and blow up camp beds. Oh. I think it's blown up enough now, Dad. Oh, thanks, Tim. Oh. Blowing up beds is hard work. Mm. I'm ready for bed myself. Dad! Mm. Dad! Mm. Wake up, Dad! Mm. We oh. still have Topsy's bed to do. Ah. <laughs> ah. Okay. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Almost there. Oh, 
to play monster now! <laughs> no! No! No, get back! Get back! Get back! Get back! There's two of them! No! No! Being eaten! No! No, they're eating me! No! Topsy and Tim, come and brush your teeth, please. <laughs> In the kitchen. Ah, you get to do things differently when you're on holiday. Go on, good boy. <laughs> Go on, get him. Go on, get him. Ah! 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 <laughs> and so we got ready to sleep in the living room. <laughs> Come on, twins, into bed. our bedtime stories. Of course you will. I'll tell her when you're ready. 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 Mm. <laughs> 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 Sleep well. We were being quiet and pretending to be asleep when we heard Mummy say, I want us to move to a bigger house. I want us to move to a bigger house, Bri. One with a proper spare bedroom. Not camp beds on the living room floor. I think you're right. It's time to move house. I like our house. I don't want to move house. <laughs> Topsy and Tim, don't worry about moving house now. It's time for stories. Yay! Would you like your night light? Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh. No more talk of a house move tonight, OK? OK. OK. Look at you two all snugly in your cosy camp beds. <laughs> oh, it's just like your bedroom now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It has. <laughs> Which story would you like first? This one, please. This one? This one. And then this one. <laughs> OK, Twin Tastic Tim and Twin Tabulous Topsy. And that, said Mummy, was that. Today, this is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we pretended to be duvet monsters. But can you remember who we chased? Was it Mummy? Or was it Dad? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Dad. Watch this. And I've got your books, twins. Thank you. Rawr! Ah! Rawr! A duvet monster now! <laughs> no, 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 get back. Good fun. See you soon. We love to invite friends to our house to play. <laughs> Mummy makes cakes and we think of fun things to do. Is my quad bike working, Mummy? Well, it's been charging all night, Tim, so the battery should be full. 
Why don't you take it outside and try it? Oh, yay! My friend Tony Welch is coming today. We're going to play on my quad bike in the garden. And my friend Binder and I are going to decorate cakes. It's working, Mummy! Oh, good! Would you like to try one of the cakes now that they've cooled, Topsy? Yes, please, Mummy. They smell very nice. They really do. Mummy's got a baby in her tummy, but she doesn't know if it's a boy or a girl. I think it's a baby girl. Tony hopes it's a baby boy. I'm going to find out today at the hospital. I'll be back about five. Is that okay, Joy? Yes, no problem. I'll see you later, Elaine. Bye. Bye, <laughs> Bye Elaine. When is Vinda going to be here, Mummy? Oh, soon, Topsy. I know. Why don't we make the cake icing together now so that it's ready for when Vinda arrives? Yes? Yes! <laughs> Hands wash first, please. Okay. Super wash! While we wait for Vinda, Mummy shows me how to make icing. Yummy! <laughs> Perfect. Keep stirring. You're doing such a good job. Tim! Tim! Fun, fun, fun! Oh, Mummy, where is Vinda? I'm sure Vinda will be here any minute. Now, come on. Let's ice these cakes before the icing goes hard. Tony, my turn now. Please, can I just have one more go? <laughs> Topsy, if you come and sit here for me. Good girl. And then once you've iced the cake, you can then put the chocolate sprinkles on. So I'll hold this and you sprinkle that over the top for me. Brilliant. Really shake it. Brilliant. Perfect. OK, that's enough. Look, Mummy, the for Vinda. That's a lovely the, Topsy. <laughs> Tim. Look at the cake I made for Vinda. Oh, yeah. Can I decorate a cake too, Mummy? Oh, no, Tim. These are just for Vinda and Topsy to decorate. Why aren't you playing in the garden with Tony? I'm letting Tony have another go. Vinda! <laughs> Hi there, Vinda. Hi, Vinda. Hi. Hello, sorry. Bikes took us eight. Oh, don't worry. Go on through, Good girls. Job, We're making cakes. I made one for you. Come and see. Hi, Tim. Hi, Vinda. Look at the cake I made for you, Vinda. Look, that for Vinda. Thank you. Mm. We're going to have this one. <laughs> I'm going to take this one. You're going to decorate them. Come on, girls. Mm. Mm. Here you go. Tony, my turn now. OK, I'll drive it to you. <laughs> it's not working. Tim, Tim. No. Mummy, I haven't even had it go on the quad bike yet. And it's broken. Oh, Tim, it's not broken. It just needs charging. Tim. Oh, Tony. It ages. Oh, just be patient. If Tony brings it here, we can charge it up. Binda. Yeah. That looks like a princess cake. I know, because it's for my mum. Really? Yeah. I know. 
Why don't we show our cakes to the boys? Okay. Come on. That's really good. to your mummy, Vinda. I didn't even get one go on my quad bike. I think I want to go home now, Mrs O'Dell. What time is my mum coming, please? Sorry, Tim. Well, if you stay, you can have pizza. Pizza! Yes, please! Pizza made everyone happy again. Who wants the last piece of pizza? Me! Yes! Oh, it's okay. You can have it. We can share it. Oh, yeah, that'll be great. Good idea. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. And as we were finishing our tea, the doorbell went again. It was Tony and Vinda's mums. Look who's here. It's home time. Hi, Tony. Oh, Hi. We wanted to stay a bit longer. <laughs> Daddy. Oh, hey, I've got some news. Ooh. Especially for you, Tony. The baby in my tummy is a boy. You're going to have a baby brother. Come on, you can play with all my toys. And when he arrives, you can bring him here for a play date. <laughs> <laughs> but that's when Tony said... But my mum says you're selling this house. But my mum says you're selling this house, Topsy and Tim. So we can't come here for a play date again, can we? Isn't that right, Mummy? Well, Tony, I said it was something that we were thinking about doing. But we don't want to sell our house. Where will we live? In another house. And we won't move far from here so that you can still see your friends Tony and Vinda whenever you like. I promise. Yay! And that, said Mummy, was, was that. that. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play! <laughs> Today, we had a double play date with our friends, Tony Welch and Vinda. Can you remember who bumped into the cakes? Was it Topsy? Or was it Tony? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Tony. Watch this. <laughs> Binda? Yeah? That looks like a princess cake. I know, because it's for my mum. Really? Yeah. I know. Why don't we show our cakes to the boys? OK. Come on. That's really good. <laughs> oh, yay. I'll pull it and you push it. OK. Tony, no! Whoa! Whoa! Sorry. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon. the dog arrives, Grandma is always close behind. Hello. Hello, Grandma. Hello, Grandma. lovelies. <laughs> Your hair looks different, Grandma. Yes, 
Do you like the red? It took the hairdresser all morning to colour it. <laughs> I think you look pretty. Oh. Mummy, can I have red hair like Grandma? <laughs> no, I don't think so, Topsy. Oh. Where's my hello, Grandma Huggle? Squeeze! Who wants to help me unpack the shopping? Me! me. I, I do! do. Oh, no. I love seeing what Mummy's bought at the shops. What's in the bag? <laughs> Show you, you two are both getting bigger yes. and you're growing out of the clothes that you're already wearing. So, Topsy, for you, <gasps> new big girl jeans. Wow, they've got butterflies on them. Look, Dad, look, Tim. <laughs> <gasps> well done, Mummy. <laughs> and for you, Tim, I got these. What do you think? I don't want new clothes. Come and have a look. Look. These ones have got a dinosaur on them. Are they a good choice? What do you say? Thank you, Mummy. Good boy. Thank you, Mummy. I love my new jeans. Okay. Grandma! Grandma! Look at my new jeans! Look, Grandma. I've got butterflies on my new jeans. May I try them on now, please, Mummy? Yeah, of course you can, Topsy. Tim, do you want to try your new dinosaur jeans on now? No. Mossy needs a biscuit. Right. <sighs> Sit. Sit. And... Take it, Mossy. Good girl. No more. No. <laughs> you don't need any more, see? Well done, Tim. Now, Ooh. double wash your hands, please. <laughs> What's that? It's a special chart designed to show how tall you are compared to different animals. <laughs> I wouldn't be as tall as a dinosaur. <laughs> OK, well, dry your hands and we can see how tall you are. Like a... Brachiosaurus! Come on. Hi, Chart. Come on. And stand against the wall for me. Stand up straight. Perfect. All right, let's see how tall you are. And step away. Look, you are a cheetah. As tall as a cheetah from nose to tail. <gasps> Rawr. Rawr! Fastest land animal in the world, apparently. Wow. How fast can you run? Rah! <laughs> Rah! Oh, steady, Tim. Goodbye, Grandma Huggle, please. I've got a bus to catch. Rah! 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 Come on, Mossy. Time to go. <laughs> Good girl. There we go. Lead on. Bye-bye, Mossy. Oh, bye-bye, Mossy. Got her now. That's it. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, Mossy. Bye, Grandma. Bye. Bye. Up to the bathroom for me, please. Oh. Okay, Mummy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Jean. Bye, love. I'll see you in your dinosaur jeans yeah. next time I pop over to. Bye. <laughs> measured myself, and I'm as tall as a gorilla. <laughs> and this gorilla likes cheetahs so much, he gobbles them whole. <laughs> 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 Try your new jeans on for me, please. Just to see if they fit. Oh, Mummy! I don't want to. I like what I've got on. Oh, well, darling, you and Topsy, you're getting bigger. And your clothes don't fit you anymore. You need new clothes. Oh, look. Do you remember these? Our old, old t shirts <laughs> Grandma bought them for your second birthday. Look how tiny they are. 
Oh, and look at these. Your little dungarees with holes in the knees. Red for... Tulsi and blue for me. Hey. That's right. You used to wear these all the time. I can't believe they ever fitted you, my big boy Tim. You know what? We need to get rid of some old clothes to make room for your new clothes. Topsy can help me find some bags. <laughs> had matching twin clothes and today you've bought us different clothes. Because you and Topsy are getting bigger, you're growing up and you like different things now. Oh yeah. Yeah. I like dinosaurs. That's why you bought me dinosaur jeans. That is exactly right. And I got Topsy sparkly butterflies on her jeans. Because she likes butterflies. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> Kim! <laughs> Kim! Look at me, Kim! I'm wearing my old trousers as wings. Oh. <laughs> I've got them. I'm a golden eagle. Dad measured me on the animal height charts. I can fly! <laughs> no. Yes. Please try on your new jeans, Tim. So I put on my new dinosaur jeans and, guess what, I really like them. <gasps> you look all grown up, son. <laughs> What's for lunch? Spaghetti bolognese. Those new dinosaur jeans fit you really nicely, Tim. Thank you. <laughs> look at us. We're wearing different jeans. We're not twins anymore, Mummy. Oh, yeah. Of course you are. You'll always be twins. You're my twins. You are Twintastic Topsy and Twintabulous Tim. <laughs> You're just growing up, that's all. And I think your bedroom isn't big enough for two growing <laughs> twins and all their big clothes anymore, is it? It's not big enough. And that's when Mummy said, if we move house, you, you could each have a bedroom of your own. If we move to a bigger house, you can each have a bedroom of your own. What do you think about that? Would I be able to have butterfly wallpaper to match my jeans? <laughs> yes, of course you would. Well, that's sorted. Now, double wash your hands. It's time for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the mummy. Was that? <laughs> with some new clothes. But can you remember what clothes she bought us? Were they new shorts? Or were they new jeans? The answer is behind the clouds. Look, the answer is new jeans. Watch this. What's for lunch? Spaghetti bolognese. Those new dinosaur jeans fit you really nicely, Tim. Thank you. <laughs> Look at us. We're wearing different jeans. We're not twins anymore, Mummy. Oh, yeah. Of course you are. You'll always be twins. You're my twins. You are Twintastic Topsy and Twintabulous <laughs> Tim. <laughs> You're just growing up, that's all. And I think your bedroom isn't big enough for two growing <laughs> twins. And all their big clothes anymore, is it? It's not big enough. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. We'll be going in a minute, Mossy. Okay. Sometimes, Grandma looks after us when Mummy's at a meeting. Then, when Dad's back from work, we drive to Grandma's house for tea. Hey, 
Mousy dog, you hungry buns girl. Oh. <sighs> Where's that daddy of yours? He knows Mousy needs feeding. I'll go and get him, Grandma. Lovely. Dad will get you home for your tea soon, Mousy. Oh. It's OK. Only you live nearer to me. We can walk <laughs> home for tea. How you come, Topsy? Thank you, Grandma. Won't be long. Dad! Sorry, but we can't go. Grandma says Mossy needs her tea. Yeah, but I need to find my house keys first. They could be in here. Oh, Dad, look. There are some keys. Look at these old keys. No, none of these keys are my keys. My keys a two house keys together on a key ring. But thank you, Topsy. Oh, look, it's my swirly whirly straw. I thought I'd lost that. Oh, good. Put it on top for later, please. We're in a rush. OK. I can't lock the front door until I find my house keys. Can you help me? OK, I'll help you. Thanks, Topsy. Dad, you're always losing your keys. Hmm. Dad, we tried looking in the coat pockets like last time. Oh, yes, good idea. Let's go. <laughs> Not long now, Mossy. Where are these keys? Maybe they've fallen out the coat pocket and into the wellies. OK. Side table. I'll be with you in a minute, Grandma and Tim. What did you say, Brian? Why is your dad taking so long? Shall I go and find out for you, Grandma? Oh, yes, please, Tim. Mm. You out? Oh. Sorry, Mossy. Dad! Dad! Topsy! Grandma wants to know why you're taking ages. OK. Ah. Dad's lost his house keys. That means he can't lock the door when we leave. Dad, you're always losing your house keys. I know. Could you help me find them? Yes. Good boy. I knew where your keys would be. Where? Here, you always find stuff down the back of the sofa. Oh, yeah. Didn't Miss Maple say that at nursery school? Yes! Miss Maple found a gold ring in her sofa. It could be in here. Anything, Tim? No. <gasps> Dad, look! The TV remote! It was down the back of the sofa all this time. Thank you, Topsy. But I need to find my house keys first. Dad. That's good. Meow, meow, meow. Keys? Tim, did you find my house keys? Oh, no, sorry, Dad, no keys. <sighs> Topsy? Meow, meow. Telly off, please, Topsy. Topsy? Tim! Where is everyone? 
Keeping them all. Sorry, Grandma. Dad's lost his house keys. Oh, not again. Poor Mossy's hungry. <coughs> Tim, take Mossy, please. Oh, okay. We could have walked home by Mossy. now. Poor doggy. Mossy! I found your ball. <coughs> Catch! Yay! Yeah. Spit it out! Spit it out, Mossy! Leave it! Leave it! Leave it! Good girl! Catch! <laughs> oh! I'll get it! And that's when I saw something! <laughs> something really funny! Tim! Look! <laughs> it's Dad's keys! Dad! We found them! We found your keys! Great! Let's go! Your house keys! Where were they? I was trying to get the ball mm -hmm. when it bounced inside when I had to look behind the door and there they were, in the front door. The keys were hanging there all the time. Silly me, that's where I left them. <laughs> Dad! Oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Topsy and Tim for finding my keys. Let's go. Please. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> So we all got back in the car and Grandma told Dad off in a funny way. You will always be my silly billy boy, Brian. <laughs> Your keys are in the door all the time. <laughs> if you didn't live this side of town, we, we could, could have walked, walked home, home by, by now. now. <laughs> and that's when Dad said... When, when we sell our house... When we sell our house, Topsy and Tim, I suppose we could buy somewhere nearer to Grandma. I don't want to sell our house. I do. I want to buy a new house closer to Grandma, and then we can see Mossy whenever we like. Where is Mossy? Mossy! We forgot a Mossy! Oh! I'll go and get her. <sighs> Mossy! Sorry, Mossy! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mossy. And that's your dad was that. Mossy! Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, Dad lost his house keys. But can you remember where we found his keys? Were they under the sofa? Or were they in the front door? The answer is behind the cloud. The answer is, the keys were in the front door. Watch this. Catch! Yay! Yeah. Spit it out! Spit it out, Mossy! Leave it! Leave it! Leave it! Good girl! Catch! Oh! And that's when I saw something. <laughs> something really funny. <gasps> Tim, look! <laughs> it's Dad's keys! Dad! We found them! We found your keys! Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! When we look after Grandma's dog, Mossy, we feed her and play with her and take her for walks. Here you go, Mossy. A nice drink for you. Oh, Mossy, look, Mossy. Always super wash your hands, please, Tim, after touching Mossy's bowl. OK. Soon it'll 
be time for your walk, won't it, Mossy? Let's go and find your ball. Come on, Mossy. Come on. I'll get it. I'll be Tony. Wait for me, Tim, before you open the front door. Okay, Tim. You can open the door for Tony. Hello. Hello. Tony's mummy has to go to the doctor's. So Tony is staying to play. Mossy! Can I have five ish? Is that okay? Great. See you yeah. next it back again. Show me. Mossy. 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 Push it. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Clever girl, Mossy. I love you, Mossy. She's so clever. Let's give Mossy a nice treat for yes. being such a clever girl. I think she deserves one. Yes. Wait for me. Mossy a treat, please. Yes, go ahead. She's Are been a good here? dog. Uh, yep, they're down there, good girl. Oh, Mossy knows where they are. Ask Mossy if she wants a treat. Do you want a treat, Mossy? Yes? No. Sit. Sit, Mossy. Sit. Take it. Can I give Mossy a doggy treat? No, sorry, you can't, Tony. You see, Grandma says that she can only have one treat at a time. No more, no more, all gone. <laughs> well done, Tim. Now, can you double super wash your hands for me, please? Okay. I'm going to go and wash my hands upstairs, Mummy. Okay. Come on, Mossy. Good girl. Is it time to take Mossy out for her walk now, Mummy? Yes, it is. Can I hold Mossy's lead today, please, Mrs O'Dell? Yes, you can take it in turns to hold the lead. Now, let's get ready to go out. Come on. Good girl, Mossy. Stay. Sometimes, when Mossy's a little bit naughty... Oh, Mossy, Mossy, you little scamp! We know it's definitely time for her walk. I'm going to have to throw this toilet roll away now. <coughs> Hurry up, please, Topsy, before Mossy does anything else silly. OK, Mummy! <laughs> oh, Mossy, you need a walk. No pulling. Hurry up, Topsy. I think Mossy needs a wee. Now, Tim, remember, keep your finger on that button to stop Mossy's lead getting any longer so she can't go any further away, OK? OK. Let's get her to her favourite bit of hedge, quickly. Yeah. Topsy! I'm trying to find Mossy's ball. Yeah, Topsy, I think the ball's underneath the sofa. Thanks, Mummy. Now, Tim, have you remembered the poo bags that Grandma Jean brought round? Oh, no. Sorry, I'll get them. OK. Can I hold Mossy's lead, please? Oh, yes, you can. Hold that for me. I'll just get the phone. I'll be back in a moment. Look after Mossy. Okay. This is a great lead, Mossy. Hello? Oh, Jean, yes. Yeah, no, Mossy's fine. Uh, We're uh, just about to take her for our afternoon walk. 
Don't worry, we'll see you later. OK, bye. Got it. Was that Grandma, Mummy? Yes, it was, just to remind us about Mossy's walk. Come on, let's get going. I got my poo bags. Can someone help me with Mossy's lead, please? Come hey, in, Tony. Tony. Where's Mossy? <gasps> She's on Mr and Mrs Fishwick's lawn. No, no Mossy! Something on Mr. and Mrs. Fisherwick's front lawn. <gasps> Mossy! She heard she's done a poo! Look, children, I'll sort this out. You stay here. Poo bag, please, Tim. Here you go. Thank you. I'll be right back. So sorry, don't don't worry about it. It's perfectly natural. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Fishwick. Ah! <laughs> Oh, Mr. Fishwick, sorry about Mossy. Ah, oh, you Mossy. <laughs> go on, I'll see you later. Go on, Mossy, go, go. Mr. Fishwick is always really kind to Mossy, isn't he? And that's when Tony said, I wonder what your new neighbours will be like. I wonder what your new neighbours will be like, Topsy and Tim. Like Mr. and Mrs. Fishwick, I hope. Me too. Oh. Me too. Excuse me, in we come. Come on in, Mossy. Excuse me. Thank you. There we go. Come on, Mossy. Let go of her topsy, sweetheart. Oh, good girl. Come on, Mossy. There we go. Good girl. Mummy, will our new neighbours be just as kind to Mossy? Like Mr. and Mrs. Fishwick are? Yes, I should think so. Now, I need to wash my hands and then we can go for walkies. But I'm holding on to the lead this time. <laughs> <laughs> and that, said Mummy, was that. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we looked after Grandma's dog, Mossy. But can you remember what Mossy took from the bathroom? Was it a toothbrush? Or was it a toilet roll? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a toilet roll. Watch this. Good girl, Mossy. Stay. No, Mossy! Mossy, come back! Sometimes, when Mossy's a little bit naughty... Oh, Mossy, Mossy, you little scamp! We know it's definitely time for her walk. I'm going to have to throw this toilet roll away now. <coughs> Hurry up, please, Topsy, before Mossy does anything else silly. OK, Mummy! Great game! <laughs> that was good fun. See you soon! Where's the last piece? Got it. Tony, Watch and Vinda are coming to play. So we've got our marble run out. Here, <laughs> quick, let's try it. But it isn't Tony or Vinda. It's Grandma and Mossy the dog. Hi, everyone. I've let myself in. <laughs> no! Oh, oh. Mossy! Oh. <sighs> Hello, where's my Hello Grandma? Hello.
snuggle Topsy and Tim. Come on, squeeze! Oh, hello, Jean. Oh, hi, Joy. I brought these over for the twins. Oh, these you. are the marbles your dad played with when he was young. I thought you could use them for your marble thingy. Thank you, Grandma. There's oh, loads. Oh, good. There's a lot of marbles in there, but mm. this is called a marble room, Grandma. Oh, yes. The marble mm. goes in here. Yes. And along there. Right. Around there. Yes. And comes out of there, there, there and there. Oh, I see. There's too many to count. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Did Mossy break it? Yes. Oh, you scamp. She did, but it's OK, Mossy. Good. We can rebuild it. Good, good, good. Right, come on, Mossy. You marble run masher. <laughs> Let's finish our walkies. Come on, girl. Bye-bye. Bye, bye. bye, everyone. Bye, bye, Grandma. Thank you for the marbles. Bye, Jean. Bye, Grandma. Hello, Hello Elaine. Hello, Tony Welch. Yeah. Come in. Hi, Mrs O'Dell. How are you? Fine. Tony's got a play date with Tim. Oh, they got the marble run out. Great! Oh, hi, Johnny. Can you help me? I'll drop to take Tony off later, OK? Thanks, Joy. Have fun, Tony. <laughs> Bye. Oh, Topsy, Vinder will be here in a minute. OK. Hurry up, Vinder. Yes. Can I put a piece on, please? Please, can I put a bit on? This bit goes here. Hmm. And this bit goes here. Oh, yeah. And these are Dad's old marbles. He played Let's with see. them as a kid. Let's see. Oh, Topsy Vinder's here. Yay! <laughs> Hi, Jazz. Hi, Vinda. I'll bring Vinda back about five. Is that OK? Come on, Vinda. Hi, Vinda. Hi. Hi. <laughs> A marble run. Can I play? Please. Let's make a marble run of our own. Shall we, Vinda? Yes, but how? Using all of this. We can make a marble one that's better than the boys. It's OK. Mummy! Please come use the cardboard recycling. Yes, just don't make a mess, you two. We're going upstairs, Tim. Come on. good with the tricky bits of the marble run. I'll do this bit. Binder and I are using all of the old cardboard to make a long marble run of our own. Our marble run is going to be the best ever. Yeah. I'll tape it. Okay. There we are, all taped. Where's the top bit? <sighs> there should be another one of these. I know. Topsy, I've got an idea. Let's make our marble room go down the stairs. Where is the last piece? There's always one bit that has to go missing. Oh, I remember. I put it here so I wouldn't lose it. Oh, so neat. Now we can put it on to make a completed marble run. Yes! OK, Topsy, now try rolling a marble down. Come on. Is it coming? Yes, it is. I can hear it. Yay! We did it! We got the best marble run. Wow, did you make that marble run? Yes. yes. It's brilliant. 
can make it even better. How? I'll show you Topsy. Okay, but don't break our marble run. I don't even need to touch it. Mummy, can you help me? Mm, what do you need? I just need to pick this up and connect it to Topsy's marble run. Brilliant idea. Here we go then. Oh, I see. We touch our marble run to their marble run. This is going to be the best marble run ever. Careful, Topsy. There we go. I'll put the first marble in. Can I use Dad's old marbles, please, Tim? Oh, yes. yes. Here you go, Topsy. Thank you. Really good teamwork, everyone. That's great. Ready? Yes. Now, Topsy. Three, two, one. Go, marbles! Go, go marbles! Under the sofa, Tony. We've got lots more. Got it. And I found this. Is this a picture of your new house? No, because I don't want to move to a new house. Oh, well done, Tony. I've been looking for that all morning. Is it our new house? It might be. Who wants to see it? Me. Me. <laughs> and that's when Vinda said. It looks lovely. I'd love to live in a house like that. It looks lovely. I'd love to live in a house like that, Topsy and Tim. Wow, that's a big house. Yes, we can make a bigger marble run. Oh, good thinking, Tim. I'd I can't like wait. To, move to a big house like that, and it's even got a red front door, see? That's right, it does. But now, I want to go on the marble run. And then it's my turn next. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the mummy. Was that? Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Can you remember what Grandma brought round for us today? Was it a bag of sweets? Or was it a bag of marbles? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a bag of marbles. Watch this. Oh, hi, hi Joy. I brought these over for the twins. Aww, these you. are the marbles your dad played with when he was young. I thought you could use them for your marble thingy. Thank you, Grandma. That's oh, loads. So good. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. <laughs> Be good. We will. You three are like, don't go getting messy. We won't. <laughs> we won't. Bye. Bye-bye. When Dad's in charge, it can mean only one thing. It's time for a dead rodeo! <laughs> Oh, again, again! No! Lunchtime! Ah, 
and tidy up time. Now, what should we have for lunch? Sandwiches? Yes! yes. Some special sandwiches. All help <laughs> and I'll tidy. Thanks, Topsy. Did you wash your hands properly, Dad? <laughs> yes, Tim, did you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Where do we start? Making Dad special sandwiches is fun. One piece of bread. Thank you. Start with. Good boy. And then a slice of yummy cheese. <laughs> <laughs> OK. More bread, please. And then some of the yummy lettuce. Oh, and Dad's special ingredients. <gasps> Peanut butter. Mm. Finally, one more slice. And what did we do last? Cut it in three. Good boy. Ta da! Topsy! Topsy, we're having Dad's special sandwiches for lunch! Yummy! Coming! Oh. Cheese, peanut butter, and lettuce. Yum! Yum. Ready? Yep. Steady. No! Mm. <laughs> Good job, you two. Thanks for lunch, Dad. What should we do now? Well, since it's such a nice day, I'm going to wash the car. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Can we help wash the car, Dad? No, because you heard Mummy. She doesn't want you to get messy. Aww. But can we watch you? We won't get messy if we're just watching. Yeah. Please, Tom, please. <laughs> Dad splashes soapy water onto the car to get it clean. Washing the car is fun. But watching Dad wash the car isn't. <laughs> Can we help you wash the car? Oh, no. Anyway, I'm nearly done. Topsy! <laughs> Boing! I'll get you for that. No! No, Topsy, no! I'm not going to get you! I'm going to get Dad! No! Uh, thank you, Topsy. I'll have that. Oh. OK, I give in. You can help me. You might get less messy if you do. <laughs> you can clean a wheel each. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Dad. OK. There you go, Tim. I'll clean this wheel for you, Dad. Thank and you. I'll clean this wheel. Thank you. It's all soapy. It's all wet. Dad, come and see. This is really fun. <laughs> Great work, twins. OK, now I need, in this bucket, some clean, soapy water, please. OK. We'll get it. I'll put the soap in. You do the tap. OK. Wait for the water. We squeeze in the car shampoo. That's enough. A bit more, actually. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And we add the water. Tim. Let's give this to Dad. Oh, hello, Mr. Fishwick. Hi, Mr. Fishwick. Hello, Topsy and Tim. Oh, look at you two. We're helping Dad wash the car. Lucky Dad. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Fishwick. <laughs> you go, Dad. Good. Now, let's finish this job and get you two cleaned up before Mummy gets home. I like that cleaning stick, Dad. Can <laughs> I have a go, please? No, sorry. Oh. <laughs> 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 Time for the really fun bit. Yay! 
<laughs> Tim, you got soap all over your hair. <laughs> Ready, set, move! <laughs> again, again, again! Okay. Do it, do it, Sat! Ready, yes. set, told us to put on our dry clothes and then we could go out for a drive in the clean car. She said that she wanted to show us something. Where are we going, Mummy? What do you want to show us? I want to show you a house that's for sale on Westview Avenue. I've just been to see it. And that's when Dad said... Mummy, Mummy thinks, thinks it would be, be the perfect house for us to move to. Mummy thinks it would be the perfect house for us to move to. <laughs> so are we really moving to a new house? I don't want to. I like our house. Oh, well, don't worry, Tim. Maybe the house I found is nicer than this one. How does a bigger garden sound? Hmm? <laughs> well, how about a bedroom of your own? And it's got its own drive for washing the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, it's raining on my clean car. <laughs> oh. Never mind. Should we go and see the new house in the rain? OK, gang? Yes! <laughs> Good. <laughs> and that, said Mummy, was that. Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we helped Dad wash the car. But can you remember the colour of the car? Was it red? Or was it blue? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is blue. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> now, time for the really fun bit. Yay! <laughs> Tim, you got soap all over your hair. <laughs> Ready. Set. No! <laughs> again, again, again. Okay. Do, do it, Dad. Ready? Set. Set. No! <laughs> Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Goodness, did you have fun at Carrie's then? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ugh, mummy! It's that Ooh. bad smell again. Oh, I don't know what it is. Is it still really smelly? Yeah. I don't know where it's coming from. Can you help me find it? Today there's a bad smell in our house. And we don't know what it is. I can't breathe, mummy. I'm gonna hold my breath. Oh. <laughs> Under here. Is it the sofa? Is that where it's coming from? It's the sofa. Oh. The bad smell's coming from the sofa, Mummy. Tim, look. It's that. I'm not touching it. Oh, what have you found? Oh. 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 It 
It's Dad's sports bag. Well done, you two. Oh! Oh, it's your dad's dirty football kit. He must have left it in there for weeks. Oh, oh, oh what's that smell? <laughs> it's your smelly football kit that you left behind the sofa. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that'll be the estate agent. Who? The estate agent. Estate agents are people who sell houses. And hopefully this estate agent will sell our house. Why? Well, so we can move to a bigger, better house. We're moving today? No. No, we're not. Anyway, our house is very smelly right now. And you can't sell a smelly house, Topsy and Tim. Mm. Oh. I don't want anyone to sell our house. Hello, Mrs. O'Dell. Bert Burgess, Hatcham Estate Agent. Call me Joy. Thank you. Hello. Are you going to sell our house? Well, yes, I am. Are you the person who's going to show me around? Please, may I, Mummy? Okay. I'm Topsy. Follow me. Sorry, it's a bit smelly in oh, here. Oh, yeah. This is the kitchen, and this is my dad. Hello there, I'm Bert. Hi, Brian O'Dell. Nice to meet you. And this is Topsy's twin brother, Tim. Oh. Oh, I didn't expect to meet a dinosaur today. Well, it's a lovely kitchen. Mm. Uh, oh, what's that smell? It's that! <laughs> Ew! Oh, Brian, that smelly football kit needs to be in the washing machine, not on top of it. I'm sorry, Bert, the house doesn't normally smell like that. It's just that Brian left his dirty football kit in his bag for weeks. Oh, that's all right. I've done it. Smelly. <laughs> Would you like to come and see this armpit? Oh, I'd love to. This garden's getting too small for Tim and me. Yes, well, I have seen bigger. Well, that's one of the reasons why we need a bigger house, a bigger garden. Sure. You know, as you can see, we've totally outgrown this one. It's like... Mm -hmm. mm. Back in a minute. Tim, you okay? I can smell that bad smell again. Can you? I don't want to move to a different house. <laughs> oh, you. It won't be as bad as you think. You'll get a bedroom of your own and a bigger garden. Hey, you could even get a swing each. You know, Twin swings. Would you like that? Yeah. Dad? Yes. You know you said that an estate agent couldn't sell a smelly house? Yeah. Well, I've hidden your bag. I've hidden your bag onto your bed so the estate agent can't sell our house. <laughs> Are you sorry? I'm sorry, Dad. Good boy. Ugh, it's that bad smell again. Poo -wee. I think the drains might be looking at me. It's your smelly bag, isn't it, Bry? Is it up here? Bry? Yep, it's in our bedroom. What? Why? Tim hid it under the bed. 
he thought it might stop the estate agent selling the house. But he's very sorry. I'm sorry, Mummy. I'll wash it right now. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Tim, that's all right. You don't usually do silly things like that, do you? And it's a big day today, isn't it? Uh, selling a house that you've been happy with, what's well, a big change for all of you? Why don't we show Bert around the rest of the house together, Tim? OK, come on. All right, lead on. Top to you, and Tim. Table. Okay, guys, sit down. Let me grab your knives and forks. After the estate agent left, it was time for lunch. Mmm, sausages. They smell nice. <laughs> okay, talking. Help yourselves. Oh. Now, Mummy and Topsy. I made a promise to Tim today, when we move to a new house, it's got to have a bigger garden. So, there's room for twin swings. Twin swings! Mm. Actually, the house on Westview Avenue has a big garden. Perfect for twin swings. Wow! Mm -hmm. And that's when Mummy said, I, I think, think we, we should, should move, move there. there. I think we should move there. Me too. If we can have twin swings. <laughs> May I have some juice, Mummy? Of course you can. Of course we can have twin swings. Can I? Yes, you can. Now, tuck in before it gets cold. And that's it, Mummy. What was that? <laughs> Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> there was a bad smell coming from behind our sofa today. But can you remember what we found behind the sofa? Was it Dad's smelly sock? Or was it Dad's smelly sports bag? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Dad's smelly sports bag. Watch this. Oh. <laughs> Poo! The smell is really strong under here. Ugh. Is that where it's coming from? It's the sofa! Oh. The bad smell's coming from the sofa, Mummy! Tim, oh. look! It's wrapped! I'm not touching it! Oh, what have you found? Oh. 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 It's Dad's sports bag! Well done, you two! Oh. Oh. oh, it's your Dad's dirty football kit! He must have left it in there for weeks! Oh, that's... Oh, oh, what's that smell? <laughs> it's your smelly football kit that you left behind the sofa. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Hi, Kerry. Oh, Come on in, everybody. <laughs> hi, Joey. <laughs> hi, Topsy. Oh, hi. Hi, Kerry. Cheers. Carrie, her mum, dad and brother Jaden are going away for a few days. So they've brought Carrie's guinea pigs to our house for us to look after them. Oh, they're so cute. They're called Poppy and Bailey. That one's called Bailey. So smelly. And that one's called Poppy. Let's put Poppy in. Ready? Here we go. Whoa. I think Poppy's a bit nervous. Well, it's time for us to go. Oh, OK. Oh, that's it. <gasps> Thank you for looking after Poppy and Bailey twins. <laughs> Give Poppy and Bailey their feed and lots of cuddles. Yeah. We oh, will. We good. Will. And the hutch is in the garden, so they'll be very happy sleeping out there, all right? 
<laughs> Don't forget to keep their hutch clean and cosy for them. Bye, pets. Bye-bye, Topsy and Tim. Bye, Bye Kerry. Kerry. Bye, Tim. Bye, Poppy and Bailey. <laughs> oh. Come on. Bye, Puppy. <laughs> Bye, baby. Good to go. Bye. Bye. Enjoy your break. Have a lovely time. Daddy's going into a house. <laughs> Mummy, can we hold them now, please? No, not just yet. You can later on once they've settled in. Because this house and you are all new to them, OK? But it's lunchtime, so come on. Double wash your hands. Let them settle in. OK, okay Mummy. <laughs> After we've had our lunch, the guinea pigs are a bit more used to our house. Mummy lets us hold them for the first time. <laughs> I you think go. I like Bailey. Good girl, hold her nice. There you We're go. You're soft and snuggly, Bailey. Oh, oh you are holding her really her well, eyes. Topsy. Good girl. Please, may I hold Puppy now? Yes, Tim. Mummy says if we look after Poppy and Bailey nicely this weekend, we can have a pet of our own when we move. You There's ready? a man in our garden. Oh, yes, I nearly forgot. What? Let's pop Bailey back in and I'll explain. He's putting a sign up, Mummy. Yes, he's been sent from the estate agents. They're putting a sign up to say that our house is for sale. Why? Well, so that anyone looking for a house to buy can see it. Hello! Wave, Tim. Oh, he's going now. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> the door of the cage is open! Oh, no! Oh. Where's Poppy gone? I can't see Bailey anywhere. Um, we've lost them. <laughs> Mummy? Sorry, we haven't looked after them very well. Oh, I should have checked that the gate was shut. Come on, we'll find them. Okay. Might be under the sofa. Mommy? Have a look over there. Is it under here? Let's see. Poppy, Bailey! Poppy, Bailey! Where are you? Oh. Poppy, Bailey! Toys. Oh, good idea. I'll have a look in the hall by the shoes and boots. OK. We search everywhere, all afternoon. But we can't find the guinea pigs. They're not upstairs, Tim. What are we going to do? Mummy, what if we never find Kerry's guinea pigs? We will. We just have to keep looking. Hmm. I know. Mr Fishwick keeps pet rabbits. He might know what to do. Oh, that's a brilliant idea, Tim. Thank you for helping us, Mr Fishwick. Well, now, tell me again what happened, Topsy and Tim. Well, we were looking after Kerry's guinea pigs while she's away, but they got out of their run. And now we can't find them anywhere in the house. Mm. Not even in their own house. Look. I see. Escaped guinea pigs. Right. Well, we'd better get this sorted. <coughs> Mr Fishwick knows just what to do. If you're looking for a guinea pig, you've got to think like a guinea pig. <laughs> Why? Well, it's like this. Have you been calling for them in a loud voice? Yes, very loud. Ah, well, that's not the right thing to do. You imagine, if you're really small and you hear a lot of shouting, well, what would you do? Hide. Well done. And what would you feel? Hmm. Scared. That's right, so you wouldn't want to come out, would you? Now, what do you think would make you want to come out? I know food! Exactly. So where's the guinea pig's food, Topsy? 
That's it, now then. Get that box out. There's a good girl. There, that, can you manage? Now, if you, if you shake that, when they hear it, they'll think it's dinner time. Well done, Topsy. <laughs> That's the idea. That's it. Shake the guinea pig's food box again. That's very good. And no loud noises, though, Topsy. That's it. Shake the food box again. Now, Tim, no sudden movements. Just very quietly. And listen, listen. You really are. <laughs> Bailey and Poppy are very lucky. Thank you for your help, Mr Fishwick. Thank you. <laughs> That's my pleasure. Gently now. Now we need to make sure we close the gate. Perfect. Thank you, Tim. You guinea pigs are very good at escaping and hiding. Mummy? Yes, Topsy? Please, can we have a pet of our room when we move house? And that's when Mummy said. Yes, I think so. Yes, I think so, Topsy and Tim. You can have a pet when we move house because you are very caring and loving pet sitters. Hooray! <laughs> We're getting our pets. 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 <laughs> and remember what Mr. Fishwick said. No loud noises. <laughs> and that's the Mummy. Was that? Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Poppy and Bailey escaped today. Can you remember where they were hiding? Were they under the sofa? Or were they in Mummy's handbag? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Mummy's handbag. Watch this. Look, there's Poppy and Bailey. There they are. Hey, it's Poppy and Bailey. They want Mummy's handbag all along. Oh, my goodness. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Do you think we've missed him? I don't think so. Our postman is called Jamie. Whenever we see him in our street, we always window wave at him, and he always window waves back. Lunch is ready, Topsy and Tim. Wash your hands. Super wash, please. We're coming in a minute. Now, please, twins. But Mummy. Oh, we still haven't window waved Jamie. He's here. Look, it's Jamie. And look, he's in his van. Hello, Jamie. Wait, Topsy, wave. <laughs> yeah, we've got a window wave, Mummy.
James got a very big box, Mummy. And it's coming towards our house. Let me see. The box is for us. I hope it's full of teddies. <laughs> or a hundred footballs. <laughs> must be for Mr and Mrs Fishwick. I wanted that big box to be for us. Me too. Oh, never mind, Topsy and Tim. Let's go through to the kitchen and have our lunch. Come on. Juice, good girl. Help yourself to carrots too, remember? I wish that big box was ours. Go, you two stay and eat. Oh, hi. How are you? Fine, thanks. Could I leave this box for Mr. and Mrs. Fishwick with you? There's no one holding it. Yes, of course. Topsy. It's heavy. Mummy's talking to Jamie the postman. Come on, quick. It's the big box. Thanks for taking this in for Mr. and Mrs. Fishwick, Joy. I knew I could count on you, Topsy and Tim. Yes, we'll help. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Hi. We'll look after the box. Can you sign for it, please? Yeah, of course. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Thanks very much. Bye. Bye, Henry. <laughs> How will Mr and Mrs Fishwick know that their big box is here, Mummy? Well, the postman's put a note through their door and that'll let them know. Come on, back to the table, finish your lunch. I don't want to have any lunch. I'm going to guard the box. Come on, Tim. Coming. I can have a roll and some ham, please. After lunch, we play with the box. It's a chattering teeth box. Yay! <laughs> 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 And then we wait for Mr. Fishwick to get home. Yes! Yes, yes. 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 Hello, Topsy and Tim! Mr. Fishwick! <laughs> I don't suppose you've seen a, a great big box, have you? <laughs> it's here, Mr. Oh, Fishwick. There it is. We've been looking after it really, really well. Thank you. I can always rely on Topsy and Tim to be good, helpful little neighbours. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> now, do you want to know what's inside the box? I'll give you a clue. A rabbit? <laughs> Not quite, no. But it is for my rabbits. Uh, a rabbit racing car? A rabbit space rocket? Not quite. I'll tell you what, if you help me open the box, then we can all see what's inside. <laughs> so just mind yourself. Let's get it tipped over this way. Well, it's a special sort of box. Now, let me. Get here and Mummy can help me get it out. Ready? Okay. And over like that. What is it? It's a rabbit, rabbit hutch! Oh, yeah. You see, uh, one of my rabbits, Hoppity, is going to have babies soon, so she needs a bigger hutch. Wow. How many baby rabbits will Hoppity have? Well, I don't know, Topsy. We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Right, now I need to get this hutch home, so thank you all again. Could you give me a hand, Joy? Okay, of course, Mr. Up we go. Mind your head there, Tim. I've just got to step over. Oh, okay, thank you, you too. Right. Perfect. Let's flip the box that way. There okay. we are. Okay, let me get the door. Mr. Fishwick? Yes? If you don't need this empty box, 
Please, may we keep it? We really like it. Of course you can. I mean, you've been so helpful. Oh, yeah, that's OK. Of course you can. Thanks, Mummy. Thanks, Mr. Bidwick. Boing, boing, boing. We pretended we were rabbits and our big cardboard box was a hutch. Then the doorbell went again. Come on, Tim. Hello, Mr. Fishwick. Hello, Mr. Fishwick. Hello again, Topsy and Tim. Hello, Mrs. Fishwick. Hello. Hi. Hello. Look, we've brought someone to say another big thank you. Wow. Is this Hoppity? No, she's at home, resting. This is Reggie, Hoppity's friend. Say hello. Hello, Reggie. Mm -hmm. Do you want to come play in our box? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not a box anymore, Tim, is it? It's a rabbit's heart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> come on. All right. Off we go. <laughs> See if Reggie likes it. <laughs> Careful now, gently. Oh, here we go. OK. Here we go. Oh. Oh. So soft. I wish we had a pet rabbit, Mummy. Me too. It's very soft, isn't it? Yeah. And that's when Mummy said, When we move house, there'll be enough room for a rabbit hutch in our garden. When we move house, there'll be enough room for a rabbit hutch in our garden, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we love a baby rabbit, Mummy. Oh, oh. Please. Can we, can we have one? <laughs> well, I shall be looking for good homes for Hoppity's babies soon. Double, please! <laughs> <laughs> OK, that's settled then. You can have a pet rabbit when we move house. Whoa. Yay! <laughs> and that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we looked after a big box for Mr. Fishwick. Can you remember what was inside the big box? Was it 100 footballs? Or was it a rabbit hutch? The answer is behind the clouds. Look, the answer is a rabbit touch. Watch this. Mummy, look! Well done! Good, right to the edge. Oh, there. Now then. Yeah, I'll have a box. Yeah. <laughs> a box in a box? Well, it's a special sort of box. Now, let me get here and Mummy can help me get it out. Can you for me, Topsy? Ready? OK. <laughs> Oh. It's a rabbit hut! <laughs> Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Jump to biscuit, Mossy. Mossy! I think she knows where they are. <laughs> Wash your hands. Oh, yes. Mummy's got out, so Grandma's looking after us. Carrie, Ray, and Tony Roach here, and we're all playing with Mossy the dog. So, what do you want to play next with Mossy? Let's play doggy football outside. Oh, she loves playing in the garden. Yes, let's play fetch with her ball. Or we could teach her some tricks. Uh, I know, doggy racing. Yeah. <laughs> what? what do you want to play, Mossy? Mossy? Where's Mossy? Oh. 
Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? to Grandma. Come on, Mossy. You can help me find Ray and Carrie, Tony. Okay. Let's look in Mummy and Dad's room. You can't play hide and seek anymore. You're just too good at finding people. Sorry. Grandma, please can you look after Mossy for me? Yes. I'll she's... make sure she stays with me. She's just too good at finding people. Have fun. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. Hi, Kerry. Found you. Uh, I found Kerry for you, Topsy. Great, but where's Ray? Oh, I don't know. I saw him running upstairs, Topsy. Oh, we're coming. Go on, Tim. Come on, Kerry. Come on. Where did Tim find you, Kerry? I was hiding in the big box, Topsy. It was such a good hiding place. I wish I'd thought of hiding in the big box. Let's go and find Ray now. Okay. Uh, look everywhere. I give up. <clears throat> Me too. We <laughs> looks everywhere. I know who could help. Mossy. She can help us find him. Is that okay? If Mossy joins the game again, Tony. Okay. Yay! Yes. Great. I'll go get her. Mossy is the best at finding seekers, and I know her nose will help us find Ray. Mossy leads us to the bathroom. Oh, we should have looked in the bathroom. Ray, are you in there? If I say yes, have I won? Yes. yes. <laughs> well done, Mossy. Let's play hide and seek again. And Ray, you can seek this time. Oh, yeah. Come on, Mossy. Come, Come on, Mossy. Come on, hide with me. Hey, I can't open the door. What? what? Will somebody help me, please? Try tickling the locky thing. Sometimes it gets a bit stiff. Doesn't it, Sam? It still mm. won't open. Oh, no. You're stuck, Ray. Locked in the bathroom, but can somebody get me out, please? Don't, don't worry, Ray. I'll get Grandma to help. Grandma! Can you see us, Ray? Sort of. Not really. Don't worry, Ray. My dad's a firefighter, and he can get anyone out of anywhere. Good. And if he has to, he can drop down the door with an axe. Wow, cool! Oh, excuse me, everyone. Sorry, Sorry Kerry. Grandma. 
Can you hear me, Ray? It's Grandma Odell here. Yes, I can hear you. Just wiggle the lock a bit. It's stuck. Joy, is that you? Mummy! I think you better come upstairs. Nothing right. I told Mummy that Ray was in the bathroom and he was stuck and he tried jiggling the lock. He still can't get out. OK, all right. Hold on. Ray, are you OK in there? Yes, thank you. But can you please get me out? <sighs> yes, of course I will. We'll help you, Ray. Yes. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Topsy, will you go and get my toolbox, please? Yes, Mummy. So, Mummy took the handle off the bathroom door. Ah, oh, yeah, nearly there. Oops. Topsy, could you hold these screws for me? Thank you. And Tim, can you hold the handle for me? Thank you. Right, let's see if this works. Are you ready, Ray? Yeah. OK. We'll give them back to me and we'll see if we can get this fixed. Mm -hmm. Oh, what an adventure. <laughs> That'll be Dad! Come on, Tim! Oh. Hello. Hey, Hello! Hey, Dad! Hey. We tell Dad about our hide-and-seek game. And that Ray got looked in the bathroom, but Mossy found him and Mummy got him out. Oh, well done, team. And well done, Mossy. And that's when Dad said, Our new house will be even bigger for playing hide and seek. Our new house will be even bigger for playing hide and seek, Topsy and Tim. I know, and we'll have a downstairs toilet and a bathroom upstairs. Yeah. So try not to get locked in those, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's, that's it, Grandma, was that? So where else were you hiding today? I don't remember, Ray. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we played Finders Seekers with our friends. But can you remember who got locked in the bathroom? Was it Carrie? Or was it Ray? Answer is Ray. Watch this. Can you hold the screws for me? Oh, thank there you. There are four of them. And Tim, can you hold the handle for me? Oh. Thank you. Right, let's see if this works. Are you ready, Ray? Yes. OK. Good fun. See you soon. Mr. Rosen. Hello, Mr. Rosen. Hello, 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 hello. Come in, Topsy and Tim. Let Mr. Rosen in. Mr. Rosen comes every week to get a lift to the shops in a helpful driver's minibus. Please may we play with your wheelie bag, Mr. Rosen. There you go, then. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that way, that way. Helpful Drivers has six minibuses, and it's run by our dad. <laughs> when he comes, Mr. Rosen always brings his wheelie bag to carry his shopping in. We love playing with it. Topsy, Topsy, could you could you park it for me just here, please? I I mustn't forget to take it with me when the minibus arrives. <laughs> Thank you. Beep. Reversing, reversing, <laughs> reversing. The driver's on its way for you. Would it be easier, Mr Rosen, if the driver picked you up from the home in future? No, no, I like to walk down the road. And it's always good to see you, Topsy. <laughs> and Tim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I must have forget to take it with me. Hello. OK, come on. Yes, could you hold on one minute for me, please? Who it's, is that? It's the estate agent, darling. I'm sorry, I've got to take this. OK. So, 
I saw the for sale sign up in your garden. Uh, your mum and dad are thinking of moving you all to a new house, are they? Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Look. Oh. They say we're going to move to this one. West U Avenue, I know it. Looks nice. Do you like your new house? Yes. Uh, what do you like about it? It's got that red door there. And what about you, Tim? What do you like about the new house? It's got a big garden. We're going to get twin swings. Well, it sounds like the perfect house for you all, then. And look, this is the inside of it. Yes. It's a bird's eye view. That's what Mummy told us. I used to make houses, you know. Why? I was an architect. Architects design and build houses. I made big houses and small houses and houses with red doors <laughs> and with blue doors. All different kinds. What do you have to do to make a house? Well, first you make a model to help you. Can I use that big old cardboard box to show you? Yes! yes. Right. Just a minute. Let's see. Now, shall we turn this into a house? Yes, yes please! Right. Now, first I make a chair here. Mr Rosen? Stars making us a house. He's really clever. I didn't need to do it. And we can go in. And yes, you can go in. Mr. Rosen has made us a house with four rooms out of the big box. We put all the things in it that you need in the house. And uh, what are you making, Tim? Sofa for our toys to sit on. Wonderful. Your minibus is here, Mr. Rosen. Oh, right then. Thank you. Okay. Bye, Tim. I'm off into town. Bye. I can't wait to see the house all finished when I get back. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Mr. Rosen. Bye. Wow. You architects must be getting thirsty. Would you like some juice? Yes, please. Topsy, I'm pouring juice. I really like our house. And me. But then... Topsy! Mr Rosen's really back! Left it behind! Mr Rosen needs his wheelie bag to carry all his shopping inside! Oh no! He's gone! Oh. We've got to get it to him! Mummy! Mr Rosen's forgotten his wheelie bag! Oh dear! Well don't worry, you can call Dad's office. Come on. Why? Someone will call Mr Rosen's driver who will drive back and pick up the wheelie bag. OK. There we go. Right. Can you push that button for me and stand next to Tim so he can hear as well? And remember, speak very clearly. OK. Here, Mummy. Hello, helpful drivers. Hello, it's Topsy and Tim. Hello, Topsy and Tim. Mr Rosen has left his wheelie back at our house. He's in one of your minibuses. Ah, oh, OK. I'll just phone the driver. Hold the line. Hello, Neil here. Is that Topsy and Tim? Yes. What's all this about a wheelie bag, then? Mr Rosen's forgotten his wheelie bag at our house. Oh, dear. Uh, I'll let Mr. Rosen know right away. Please, may you come back and get it for him? Will do. We're on our way. Come on, step, Topsy. Good girl. Come on, Tim. The minibus will be here soon. I'm coming, Topsy. If you wait at the bottom of the path, you'll see it come round the corner. As we are waiting, our next-door neighbour, Mr. Fishwick, walks past. Hello, Topsy and Tim. Hello, Hello Mr. Fishwick. Fishwick. <laughs> what are you doing? We're helping our friend, Mr. Rosen. Ah. <laughs> Look, Topsy, there he is. <laughs> so, 
Thank you, Topsy and Tim. Now I'll be able to carry all my shopping. How silly of me to leave my wheelie bag behind. Bye. Bye. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> A really great job on your little house, Topsy and Tim. Oh, and I know someone who'll like to see it. And I come see you at the door. <laughs> Mr. Morrison! Oh, Mr. Hello. Morrison! Oh, just look at all this shopping. Oh, good job I had my wheelie bag to carry it. Oh, oh, oh. oh thank you. And I've managed to put something else into it. Ta-da! Nice! Paint the walls of your wonderful house. And don't forget the red front door, Topsy. Oh, how kind. It's right there. What do you say, Topsy and Tim? Yay. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Rosen. And that's when Mr. Rosen said, I will, I will miss you when you move house. I will miss you when you move house, Topsy and Tim. We'll miss you as well, Mr. Rosen. We like it when you come to our house. <laughs> Helpful drivers will still be taking you to the shops once a week, Mr Rosen. And you can ask the driver to take you to our new house any time you like. Well, that's good then. It'll be exciting to see your new home when you move. You can come round lots. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> All the you. time. Thank you. Now, get to painting. All oh, right, aprons on first, twins. Oh. Good, Tim. <laughs> Said, Mummy, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, Mr. Rosen came to visit us, but can you remember what he left behind when he went shopping? Was it his coat? Or was it his wheelie bag? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is his wheelie bag. Watch this. Topsy! Mr. Rosen's really back! Left it behind! <gasps> Mr. Rosen needs his really bag to carry all his shopping inside! Oh no! He's gone! Oh. We've got to get it to him! Mummy! Mr. Rosen's forgot his really bag! Oh dear! Don't worry, you can call Dad's office. Come on. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! <laughs> Keep still, Tim! It's tickling me. <laughs> Topsy and I are making cardboard cut-up twins. We're using the cardboard box our neighbour, Mr Fishwick, gave us. Nearly done, Tim. There we are. I've drawn around your whole body. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mummy? Yes, Tim? Come and see. Look at my cardboard twin, Tim. Oh, that's great, Tim. I'll cut yours out just like Topsy's twin. My cardboard twin? Yes, here we go. Looks great. Topsy's twin looks great cut out. Hello, Tim. <laughs> Hello, twin Topsy. Doesn't really look like me yet. She needs a face. I'm going to go and colour her face in. Thank you, Mummy. 
way to an end. If we move Topsy to here, then you can put a twin Tim over here. Thank you. Her eyes, well her other one, goes here. I'm going to give Twin Tim a big smiley mouth. And I'm going to give her brown eyes. Actually, no, purple. It'll look funny. Great colouring in, twins. I'll get the door. Tony. Hello, Tony. May I have the red? What are you doing, Topsy and Tim? That's orange. We're colouring on our twins. Tony Belch and his mum have come round to pick up our old baby basket. Ready for Tony's new baby brother to sleep in when he's born. All right, your milk's on the side, children. Come on, Elaine, let's go up and get the baby basket. This is Twin Tim. Hello. <laughs> I'm Twin Tim. Hello, I'm Tony. Tony, do you want to colour this in with me? Yes, I'm really fast at colouring in. Me too. Careful! Sorry, Topsy. Tim. Yay! I found you, Ooh. King Twin Tim. I think King Twin Tim wants some milk. Yay! Let's see him in. Careful. Milk for King Twin Tim. Enjoy your milk, Your Majesty. Stop, 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 stop. Bye, Tony. Much for the baby clothes and the baby basket, Joy. Oh, you're welcome. In fact, when we move, would you like Topsy and Tim's bunk beds? Really? Yeah. We'd love your bunk beds, wouldn't we, Tony? Yeah. No. You can't give our bunk beds away to Tony. Oh, Tim, you'll have separate bedrooms in the new house with a new bed each. But. You can't give them away. We'll talk about it another time. Yeah. Bye, Tim. Come on, Tony. Oh, bye, go. Tim. Bye, Joy. Oh, bye, Tony. See you soon. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye. That are bunk beds, Mum. You can't give them away. Sorry, Tim. Mummy, 
Topsy Run King Twin Tim. I'm sure King Twin Tim will be fine once we dry him off. Come and help me, Tim. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Topsy Run King Twin Tim. And Mummy's giving away our bunk beds. <sighs> Mummy, why are you giving away our bunk beds to Elaine? Well, they'll need more beds when the new baby comes. I've just never slept on the top bunk before. It's not fair. <laughs> Tim! A bit later, I take Tim a biscuit to say sorry. Sorry about King Twin Tim. It's OK. Thanks for the biscuit. Down here on the bottom bunk. It's all cosy. I like it up here in the top bunk. It's so high. I know. Why don't we swap bunks? From yeah. tonight. Till we move house. Until Tony Welch gets our bunk beds. <laughs> okay, King Twin Tim is nearly dry, Tim. There you go. Thank you. Mummy, <laughs> we've decided that we want to swap bunks. Oh. From tonight. Until Tony Welch gets our bunk beds. OK, well, I think that's a really good idea, but not tonight, OK? Oh. I tell you what, if you help me tidy the bedroom, you can do it from tomorrow night, OK? Yay! <laughs> and that's when Mummy said... Soon people will be coming to look at our house. <laughs> Soon people will be coming to look at our house. Who? What people? People? who want to buy our house. And they want to come and see if they want to live here. They would like to live in this room. I think they'd really like this room, wouldn't they? This room is very big. It's very big and lovely, but only when it's tidy. So help me clean it up. <laughs> Look! <laughs> 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 Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play! <laughs> today we made cardboard twins. But can you remember what we put on Twin Tim's head to make him King Twin Tim? Was it a sun hat? Or was it a crown? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a crown. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Where are you going, Mummy? To a restaurant, Topsy. Please, can I come? I'll wear my fairy dress. Oh, not tonight, Topsy. Anyway, it's a special night for you two, remember? Oh, yes. Tim and I are swapping bunk beds tonight. Tim's sleeping on the top and I'm sleeping on the bottom bunk for the first time. Mummy! Dad! Look at me! I'm on the bottom bunk! That'll be your babysitter. I'll go. Tim! It's our babysitter! Careful, Topsy! I'll get to the door before you! <laughs> Miss me. Hello! Oh, hello, Mr. Fishman! Hey. Hi, Danny, I'll come in. Hello, hello Topsy, Mr. Fishman! Hello. hello! Here we are, Danny, don't forget your stuff. <laughs> Mr. Fishwick lives next door. His granddaughter, Danielle, is babysitting for us tonight for the first time. Oh, lovely. Thank you. It's fantastic. Thank you. Do you like babysitting, Danielle? I love babysitting Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Danielle has done lots of babysitting before, so she'll look after you. <laughs> Thank you for babysitting for us. 
Hi, Mr. Fishwick. Hello there, Joy. <laughs> right, I'll be off. See you later, Danny. Bye, Brenda. <laughs> Bye. 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 I don't want to go to sleep until you're back, Mummy. Oh, Topsy, please go to sleep as usual for Danielle. Will you come and see us in our new bunk beds when you get back, Mummy? <laughs> of course I will, Tim. Oh. Danielle, the twins are swapping bunk beds tonight. Excited? I'm on the top and I'm on the bottom! Wow! Now, be good, you two. You've got our number if you need anything, haven't you? Yeah, 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 we'll be fine. OK. See you later. Night, night. <laughs> be good. Night, night. Am I going to sleep until you get back, Mummy? <laughs> Don't forget, I'm on the top bunk. OK. Your slippers, Danielle. Oh, thank you. They're yeah, funny. <laughs> These are my favourite. Look at that. <laughs> okay, up to bed for you two. Aww. We usually have a milky drink before we go to bed and a biscuit. Oh, well, come on then, help me find the milk and biscuits. Here's the milk in the fridge. <sighs> Danielle is nice. She lets Totsy wear her funny slippers. <gasps> Up to bed, I think. Someone looks tired. Not yet. Sometimes Mummy lets us play on the computer before we go to bed, Danielle. Really? Well, I don't think I should put the computer on, but I have got my tablet in my bag. I'll have a look. Topsy, I want to go to bed soon. I want to go on the top bunk. I know, but I want to stay awake until Mummy and Dad get home. <sighs> OK. Does your tablet have games? It has games and stories. And sometimes I use it for my French homework. What's French? French is the language they speak in a country called France. French people say bonjour to say hello and bon nuit to say goodnight. <laughs> Up to bed, sleepy heads. Come on, bon nuit. <laughs> Bonjour. Bon nuit. Bon nuit. I don't think <laughs> I can get up the stairs in the slippers. <laughs> oh dear. We brush our teeth until Danielle says, stop. Stop. <laughs> and have a nice rinse. There we go, lots of water. Well done. There we go, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Went on my nose. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, oh, oops. It's a little bit wet. Oh. Oh. Your top's all wet, Tim. I think you need dry pyjamas, Tim. Mm. Come on, let's go find some. I think they're in the wardrobe. Danielle can't find any of my dry pyjamas. So Tim has to wear a pyjama top of mine. OK. Who can get into bed the fastest? Me! Hey! Here we go. Come on, Tim. Hey! <laughs> I won. No, I won. I think it was a draw. <laughs> it's funny being up here and down here. <laughs> can we have a story, please, Danielle? Oh, I'd love to. I've got a great one on my tablet. Listen. <gasps> Once upon a time, there was a princess. She lived with her mummy the queen, her daddy the king, and her many, many pets. <laughs> and the prince and the princess got married and, and lived, lived happily ever after. after. <laughs> bon nuit, Topsy and Tim. Remember, that's good night in French. Bon nuit, Danielle. Bon nuit, Topsy. Can we have a night later on, please? Of course you can, Tim. Bon nuit. Thank you. Sleep tight, Topsy and Tim. Tim? Are you still awake?
Yes, I'm staying awake for Mummy. Do you think Mummy and Daddy are nearly home now? Wake up, sleepy twins. In the morning. Wake up, Topsy. Mummy thought I was Topsy. I'm not Topsy. I'm Tim. Oh! Remember, we used to bunk beds. I'm on the top now. <laughs> Why are you wearing Topsy's pink pyjama top? Oh, Danielle can find one of mine. My pyjama top got wet. Hey, Mummy. Hello. Did you enjoy swapping bunk beds? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Bonjour, Mummy. <laughs> Bonjour, Mummy. Bonjour. <clears throat> you speak French now, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour means hello, Danielle told us. Oh. Can Danielle babysit again for us, please, Mummy? And that's when Mummy said. Really nice. Yes. Danielle said she would be happy to babysit for you two anytime. Yes, Danielle said she would be happy to babysit for you two anytime, Topsy and Tim. Yes! <laughs> Time to get dressed, twins. And that, said Mummy, was that? <laughs> this one. Well, maybe, I like this one. Maybe not that one, maybe this one. What do you yes, think? yes! This one. That one. <laughs> Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Topsy and I swapped bunk beds. But can you remember who slept on the top bunk? Was it Topsy? Or was it Tim? The answer is behind the cloud. The answer is Tim. Watch this. Tim, are you still awake? Yes, are you? Yes, I'm staying awake for Mummy. Do you think Mummy and Daddy are nearly home now? Wake up, sleepy twins. In the morning. Wake up, Topsy. Mummy thought I was Topsy. I'm not Topsy. I'm Tim. Oh! Remember, we used to walk bunk beds. I'm on the top now. <laughs> Great game! That was good fun. See you soon!